Mary Kay, Hugh Jackson out as head coach, Todd Haley out as offensive coordinator. Greg Williams is your interim head coach, Freddie Kitchens your new offensive coordinator. And the message today from the owner, Jimmy Haslam, and the GM, John Dorsey, was pretty simple. They needed to get rid of the discord that was going on in this building behind us. Yeah, I was pretty surprised that both of them were fired. Obviously, there was a power struggle going on between Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley. I thought one of them would be gone by today, and there was a chance that it could be Todd Haley. But in the end, uh, all the powers that be got together last night, and they got together with Hugh Jackson this morning, and they decided that not only was he going to be gone, Todd Haley was going to be gone, Greg Williams, now the interim. Yeah, that was probably one of the more surprising things on a, on a day that was pretty surprising overall, that Greg Williams was the man they chose to be the interim head coach along with Freddie Kitchens as your offensive coordinator. Uh, I mean, why do you think they went with Williams in this situation? Just experience. He, he's had head coaching experience before. He's run the show. Uh, he, he knows how to be a leader, and I just don't think that they felt there was really anybody else on the staff right now. They didn't even talk to anybody else on the staff about it, so it was Greg all the way. And, of course, this comes a day after Miles Garrett, the number one overall mm -hmm. pick for from a year ago questioned Greg Williams after the game and, and questioned the scheme that the Browns went in with against Pittsburgh. Again, Dorsey and Haslam both downplayed that situation. Yeah, they did. Uh, you know, I think they just attributed it to, uh, you know, maybe a young player speaking out of turn a little bit, and I'm sure they'll talk to him about that. I'm sure Greg will have a conversation with him about that. But just in terms of this whole entire move, uh, you know, when I look at it, I, I think uh, in my mind, it just seems like, you know, Hugh Jackson was never able to overcome, and Haslam addressed this a little bit today, never able to overcome that 1-31 in 31 hole that basically he dug in the Sashi Brown regime when they had very little players on the very few players on this roster yeah yeah I think that was uh, that was always going to follow him along and when this right. team came out and now they're sitting at two five and one look if you're sitting at five and three or even you know four and four maybe it's a little different I know that's only a couple games but they weren't winning this year and this was a year where they wanted to get the winning now the thing to look for even though Dorsey and Haslam didn't want to talk about it mm -hmm. is the upcoming coaching search and in my mind Mary Kay there's one name that matters in all of this and that's Baker Mayfield yeah you know they're going to do whatever it takes to protect that investment and to make sure uh, that he is coached up in the way that they need him to be so that he can shine and be the number one pick, the future of the franchise. You see what Andy Reid is doing with Patrick Mahomes, who's coming into town this weekend. You can see uh, what Sean McVay is doing with Jared Goff. I think that they are going to want a brilliant offensive mind uh, that can that can do the kinds of things with Baker Mayfield they want him to do. So that brings up, of course, Lincoln Riley, <laughs> the Oklahoma coach uh, that coached Baker to the Heisman Trophy and to his number one overall pick status. I'm sure he's somebody that they will look at. Yeah, and we're going to be putting together a list here in the next day or two that's, that's going to lay out some possible candidates. And the theme you're going to see, for the most part, uh, offensive-minded guys, that, that quarterback guru mm -hmm. term that everybody likes to talk about that Hugh Jackson was supposed to be, those are going to be the names to keep in mind. Yeah, and you know what? Again, uh, just in Hugh Jackson's defense, he didn't have a chance to do that with Baker Mayfield. Uh, he went down on Todd Haley's offense. Todd Haley called the plays this year. Todd Haley was the one who coached Baker Mayfield. And I think that's the part of this that, that I find unfortunate is the Haslam's brought him back to give him a chance to see what he could do with a better roster and he didn't get a chance to do it. Todd Haley did it, and now they're both gone. All right, so we'll have full coverage of the day here in Berea, an early Black Monday for the Browns. It's not in January, it's in October. And, of course, we'll talk about coaching searches and everything that's coming for the Browns. It's all at cleveland.com slash Browns.